ever since the movie Hunt for October, I have wanted to be on a submarine. I think it's one of the cooler things to be. Instead, I was in the Army. And everyone I've talked to on the submarine, they've had a lot of different stories. But uh, it seems really interesting. So, Rack Patrol, you're playing a Gato, a Gato class cruise uh, boat. Not a ship, a boat. And you are on patrol in the Pacific Ocean. You're going after the Japanese fleet. This game is fairly easy to put together. It requires seven sheets. This is one of them. You really do need this sheet. It just makes life that much easier. But all you ultimately need is this player control panel. There are six sheets of cards. And there are... And then if you want to, what I did was... There's not a fancy backing. I just have it say rack, rack patrol and I put it at an angle. And you always want to do put it at an angle because it's harder to figure out, okay, what goes with what. And yeah, it's just a lot easier, I have found, um, to avoid cheating because you memorize the, car the backs of the cards as if they are just straight, straight across. So that, that's my one big suggestion. So this game does not have to be printed in color. It's just nicer that it is. Um, so it would be 50 cents for the seven pages in color. And I think they charge a dime for backs, uh, which are all in black and white. So to save money, that's what I did with this. And you can do this same kind of backing inside of Google Docs. I should probably put something out there for that. Um, you also need to have just a few cubes. Colors really don't matter uh, because they're just set up here. I have my colors because I color code everything that I can. I don't know what to say about that, but that's what I do. I do have one extra cube and that is just my turn marker because Every three turns, this changes. So, let's go to the table. Please make sure that you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in just a moment. So here we are at the table. The things that are going to be important to remember is this one will move every three turns, and that is who has, who's in charge. And over here is the captain, over here is the what's called the cob or the chief of the boat. Uh, it's the senior enlisted person on the boat, and he is called the chief of the boat. Really important position, and it takes a lot of work to get to. The cards are shuffled up. Just one extra quick shuffle, and it's really simple to begin. All you have to do is turn over a card. So we are submerged right now. We're gonna go on ahead and uh, come to the surface to recharge our batteries. This goes over here. And we'll do an emergency dive. We can still do this. Uh, they're not going to see us, I can guarantee you that. So I'm not gonna waste the card at this moment. We now have to find out how do they see us. And we take the card, turn it over and we see the zero, 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 and they have 180 or 90. This means that it's coming right at us. Now we have to decide if we're going to do a leading maneuver or a trailing maneuver. This side is the leading, this side is the trailing. Because they're coming right at us, we want to do a trailing maneuver. Odds are we're not gonna lose them. If they're going away from us and we do a trailing, we're gonna lose them. So we go on ahead and we take a look and see what happens. So we're trailing, we're not going to move up at all. We do lose an energy. So we deplete our batteries a little bit. Now the question is, is do they hear us? They have a minus two. So the odds of them hearing us are nil. We're going to go on ahead and try and maneuver again. 
We get a minus two this time. One, two. Now, do they hear us? So the answer is yes, they do hear us, but there's a minus one and a minus two. So they're not going to hear us. And the, the captain gives us a minus one. That's where the second minus one came from. Now we have our choice. We can continue to trail and what happens is it'll pass underneath us and then we'll go back out the other way. But we're going to move into firing position. And we find out that we have fired and we have sunk this cargo ship. Yay! So they now know that we are here. We have been alerted to us. We then go on ahead and they get a shot at us. Three damage. They do minus one. We have to take the damage from one, two, or three places. We'll take one damage here and one damage there. That was a really good shot. We're gonna go on ahead and see if we can maneuver out. And we get a plus two, one, two, and we are out of their range. First one sunk. We then go on ahead and we're going to surface. We're going to recharge our batteries. And we switch over to the cob being in charge. So nobody's, nobody's out there for us to see. We go on ahead and submerge. And this is the aircraft carrier. Let me take a look at the angle on the bow, which is 90. Now we have a choice here. We can say, no, I'm not going after him. But you lose a point. And I don't want to lose a point. And this is worth seven points. So this is actually really good. Problem is, they come after us. So we're going to go ahead and do a trailing. They do not hear us. We then go on ahead and we maneuver plus one here on the car. So that just means we lost it. And as I like to say about the aircraft carrier, oops, I'd rather not go after an aircraft carrier. If you ever watched Midway, you see how hard they are to sink. So we've switched back over after the contact. We are still submerged because we are not problematic with batteries. That's why we're still submerged. And here we go. Now we've got somebody who can do us some damage. How are they coming at us? Again, straight at us. Oh, that's going to be tough. Okay, we're going to do a trailing action. Also, it's less likely they'll hear us on a trailing action. They are at zero. So we are not going to move at all. Do they hear us? No. Trailing action. We are still at zero. Do they hear us? No. And we have a minus one and a minus one on energy. So our batteries are going down. If they get to 25 and you get one more, you automatically surface. You don't have a choice. Do they hear us? No, they do not. Well, I moved up one, right? Yeah, minus one. I am going to move into tor I'm going to move into fire torpedo. And look at that, we got them. Yes. Yeah, that is great. Okay, so they're going to go on ahead and they get the fire at us. 
they do zero plus one. And we're gonna move it over to chief of the boat. He's gonna be in charge. We lose an energy, but we're also out by two, so they're not going to hear us. And we are gone. All right, that's really good, that's five points. Okay, so Cobb is going to be in charge. We are gonna go on ahead and surface. And oh no, we take some casualties, that is not good. This does not count as one of the three turns. So this is the third of five cards. Uh, we're gonna go back to the base. We're gonna end round one. We have five points. And to complete this game off, you play two more rounds uh, within the game. And we'll, go, and we'll go on ahead and we will shuffle at this point. And we are back for the second round. And right off the bat, we get another frigate. So what's the angle on the bow? It is coming again right at us. We will do a trailing action. We do lose one energy. We also go down by one. Do they hear us? No. We will continue trailing. We don't do anything and we lose another energy. This is not good. Do they hear us? No. We are going to move into attack position. Oh, yes. Perfect. Another one. Oh, that's really good. Okay. So what we'll go on ahead and do at this point is they're going to attack us for one. We do suffer one damage. We are going to try and escape. We get plus one and we also lose energy down to 50, 25%. So we are going to go on ahead and surface, redo the energy and, oh no. Planes are the worst. So bad news, we are spotted. It is going to drop on us and misses. This is good. We are going to submerge and evade. Plus two, we have managed to evade the airplane. That was actually pretty easy. Normally I get creamed by that. Cobb takes over. Actually that should have been Cobb. Captain takes back over. Wow. Um, that can be from food. There's a lot of reasons why that will happen, especially under these Gatto class subs. And there are five that are on display, by the way. And we go on ahead and we get another one. This is the guy who is after us. What's the angle on the bow? 180. It's moving away from us. So we are going to do this side. We're going to do the leading, see what we can do. And we get a minus one. Do they hear us? No. I am going to move into attack position. Good thing I did. It is a miss, however. Um, the reason it's a good thing is I would have been here, which would increase the likelihood that they would hear us and start hitting us. So we move over here. They have hurt us. They get to attack. Zero plus one. Oh, man. We, oh, man, one of those. Darn it. We're going to evade. Plus one, and we are out. So the good news is we managed to elude the attack. Ooh, nice. There's the 
I'm glad that got used. Okay. So we will go on ahead and surface, recharge, Cobb takes over, and nothing happens. Two, resurface. And that does not count. And there's our third. And you'll find this, and this is very, very true of pretty much all military and uh, boats in particular, I've been told, are <laughs> subs. You get a lot of hurry up and wait. Uh, the captain takes over. We are submerged. And I am going to go on ahead and park because we've already got this is the third one again. So, and we're already down by two crew members. So we go back, everything resets. And we go out for our third cruise. And we find this guy right again. So, angle on the bow. Again, coming right at us at zero degrees. So, we are going to go to a trailing. And we do not move. We do lose one energy. They hear us? No. We move minus two. All right. Do they hear us? No. We're going to move into attack position and yes. Actually, I should do that. So we've had the attack position and now they hear us and they are going to go after us. Three damage. One, two, three. We evade. We lose an energy. But we're out by two and we are gone. So we have done a really good job of evading. And we are going to go as soon as we hit another island, we're going back in. Cobb takes over. We surface. They are not going to see us after an emergency dive, and we are going to attack. Angle on the bow is 90, so they're going across either left to right or right to left. Left to right or right to left. Yeah, that's not confusing. But we are not. Yes, we were recharged. And we are now submerged. Okay. We are going, oh, 90 degrees. We're going to do a leading action. So we are going to go zero. We do not lose any energy. Do they hear us? No. Ninety. We go down by two. Do they hear us? The answer is no. Um. Yeah, because they're down by one. So. Nope. They don't hear us. And we will move into attack position. And we do go on ahead and hit and sink. They do get an attack on us of two, but the cob is here. So they're not going to do any damage. And that gets our move back over to the captain. And we're out. And this goes over here, this goes here. And the captain is on the deck. We will sub surface. We can still do an emergency dive. This is good. What's the angle on the bow? Ninety. So it's going across. We will do it again, a leading action. And minus one. Do they hear us? No. Oh no. We will go on ahead and we're going to move into attack position. 
and we do not hit which is not good but they do hear us oh no that is not good for no damage we evade plus two and we're out I think we are out of islands okay we switch over to the cob surface submer oh not yet submerge now surface captain takes over oh no oh no uh we submerge And we can still, somehow or another, we can still dive. We are going to, at this point, we're still going to go after him. Ninety. We will do a leading action. Minus two. Do they hear us? <gasps> they heard us. Oh my goodness. They get to attack. They do a one. But we have a uh, minus one, so they're not going to do any damage. Chief of the boat is going to take over. We're going to go on ahead and Minus one, they get another attack. Again, a one, now the chief of the boat mitigates. And we have a plus two, we're down one energy. Captain took over, captain started so the chief will take over. And we lose. This is the first time I have lost this game to the crew just dying off. <sighs> this was a really good round. Oh, and we could have two more. So I had, f oh, wow, seven, eight. 12, 13 points. That's a really good hand. So, despite the loss, I hope you have enjoyed this game. It's a really simple to make game. And it's just a lot of fun to play. So, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Take a look at this next video. And I hope that you have an absolutely great day.